action bits. Action bits. Today we're going to cover Tableau in Slack. So I broke this down into three parts. The first part being the three key components needed for, to get Tableau in Slack, how to use Tableau in Slack, and finally, data-driven alerts. So the first part is the Tableau server and cloud. In order to get this up and running, you're gonna need help from your Tableau site administrator. And this person is gonna request permission to the Slack workspace through Tableau's site settings. Then you're gonna need Slack, of course. And in order to get that up and running, you're gonna need help from your Slack workspace administrator. This person is gonna add the Tableau app for Slack to a Slack workspace by approving a request from the Tableau administrator for permission to access the Slack workspace. And then finally, you're gonna need the Tableau app in Slack. And for that, you're gonna need the Tableau site administrator to connect your Tableau site to Slack through the Tableau site administrator uh, workspace in Tableau. The best part about this is you can do this all yourself. So for the Tableau server and cloud, you could utilize the Tableau developer site, which is completely free by going to tableau.com slash developer. For Slack, you can utilize the Slack workspace, which again is free. Uh, just go to slack.com. And then finally, to guide you through these steps, there's the Tableau app in Slack, which you can utilize the Tableau app, which again is free. Go to tableau.com slash solutions slash slack in order to follow those easy steps and get up and running. The second part of this is looking at Tableau in Slack. Uh, and here we see we have our app set up in our Slack testing workspace. And up here, I'm able to look at the different views. I could search for different views by clicking search views. And I could type in something, something like Slack and I could go ahead and hit search, and I could see that I have my Slack testing. I could also view my data-driven alerts up here. I could also look at my recents. So here I can see that I was recently in my Slack workbook. Um, and then I could also set my favorites and show my favorites in the, the app within Slack. Uh, one of the nice things that I could do is simply click these ellipses over here, and I could click share. And I could share this with people in my workspace or others in my workspace. So when I hit share, I can write something like, hey, check this, check this out. And I can choose my people or my uh, channels. And here I'm gonna select Tableau testing. I'm gonna share that content. And then Immediately, we see in our Tableau testing, I'm going to want to share the snapshot here. It might just take a moment to show. Um, but I could see my who it was sent by. It was sent by myself. It was sent to the Slack testing channel uh, from my Slack testing workbook. And here's my image. So that is great. And then if I go ahead and click on that, that'll take me out to uh, that'll take me out to my Tableau server area. And then finally, uh, I'll share our data-driven alerts and how to go about doing those. So here in Tableau, I have a, a chart that I, I have previously built for my data-driven alerts. If I want to go ahead and share this through Slack, I'm going to go ahead and click the watch, create my data-driven alert. I need to select a axes in order to do that. And then I hit create. And I'm gonna say above or equal to my threshold, which is 14. I can change my subject if I want. Uh, in order to illustrate this, I'm gonna change this from daily at most to uh, once the first time it's true. Uh, and I'm gonna to wanna to make this visible to others so that they can see the alert as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and create the alert and that should have triggered. So now when I jump back into Slack and we go into the Tableau app, I will see that I have a brand new message here waiting for me. 
uh, and this is my alert. So the data driven alert was delivered to my folder. So again, in this quick action bit, we covered three things, uh, the components that were needed for Tableau and Slack. Uh, we reviewed some of the cool features of the Tableau and Slack integration, and we also covered off on data driven alerts. So join me next time for another action bit. I'm Jeremy Paytas, and I'll talk to you later. Action bits.